It started well over a year ago. While tonight we bring you the end of this campaign, WEBN has been there from the beginning. This race has taken us from icy cold Iowa in New Hampshire in January to the blazing heat of Denver in August. Our journey began last September when New York Senator Hillary Clinton held a fundraiser with the Goo Goo Dolls at Boston's Symphony Hall. It was a different race back then, and within two weeks, Illinois Senator Barack Obama was on Clinton's coattails. Are you fired up? Ready to go? He came to the Boston Common, where he accepted an endorsement from Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick. I believe we need a president who will level with the American people every time. I believe we need Barack Obama. WEBN's coverage of the 2008 presidential race came into full motion when we set foot in Iowa. With a team of 16, we were on the ground all week, covering candidates big and small, Republican and Democrat. We got an exclusive with Barack Obama. Good morning, Senator. How are you? Far away from where you, you guys are Boston TV. We are. It's gracious. How are you doing? Bring this oh, I hope not. <laughs> we got up close with Joe yeah. Biden. It ain't sexy yet. I'm going to make it sexy. Thank you all very, very much. Thanks. And heard some words from Senator John McCain. Great experiment in democracy. They will play a key role in who's the next president of the United States, and I hope they'll all turn out. Uh, I hope they'll consider it. Thank you. On caucus night, we reported the results and were there while some candidates licked their wounds and while others cherished their big moment. But on this January night, at this defining moment in history, you have done what the cynic said we couldn't do. You know, I wasn't sure that I would ever be able to love a state as much as I love my home state of Arkansas. But tonight, I love Iowa a whole lot. After Iowa, Super Tuesday wasn't too far. Barack Obama returned to Boston with some heavy hitters, and John McCain gave some early morning attention to supporters at Faneuil Hall. We will never surrender. We will never surrender. That night, WEBN went live with the results. After a drawn-out primary race, John McCain and Barack Obama finally became their party's nominees. This summer in Denver, we brought you coverage of the Democratic National Convention from inside and outside the Pepsi Center and in Besco Field. After John McCain shook up the race by choosing Sarah Palin as his running mate, we went back to New Hampshire to see what the fuss was all about. I feel like we can count on the good people of New Hampshire because you're a lot like the people of Alaska. <laughs> we all love good moose hunting. I know that. One day later, and for one last time, Barack Obama asked Granite State voters for their help. I'm not running against George Bush. I'm running against all those policies of George Bush that you support, Senator McCain. While we began the race with a Clinton, we also ended it with one. With less than 48 hours until Election Day, we were in New Hampshire watching Bill Clinton give the Democrats a final push. Thank you very much. Election 2008 has given us a front row seat to history. It's introduced us to numerous celebrities, let us work aside famous journalists, and given us an in-depth look at our next president. And all of this has come down to tonight.